I'm Ben from Mackie, and I'm here today to tell you about the new Mackie DL1608. What we have here is a 16 channel digital mixer that we've combined with the power and ease of use of an Apple iPad as the main user interface. So the mixer hardware itself is doing all the processing. We have 16 Onyx mic pre's. These are the same Onyx mic pre's as in the rest of our Onyx i series, critically acclaimed. Uh, 16 of those, we have six aux ends on the outputs, and then a main left right. Every one of those input channels has a four band, four band EQ, compressor, gate, we have a dedicated reverb and delay with dedicated sends, so you don't have to use up any of your aux sends. And those six aux sends, they all have a graphic EQ and limiter, as does the main left right. But the key awesome interface is the Apple iPad. So let's take a look at that. So I said we allow seamless transition from wire to wireless. As you see now, right now, the iPad is slid into the tray and connected via the dock connector here. And audio is running. I have complete control here. And I can simply slide it out. And you'll notice after a moment, the meters will switch over and give me full motion again. And I'm now full wireless control. I can readjust everything. So everything I can do wired, I can do wireless from a control standpoint. I'm going to put it back in just so you can uh, ha have a better idea of being able to view it. But the wireless operations are just amazing. The applications, you can take the wi your wireless iPad with you and I can go on stage and I can tune my monitors. I can take the iPad and I can walk to the back of the room and make sure it sounds just as good as it does in the front of the room and make changes as I go. I don't have to walk back to front of house to make those changes. In fact, we allow up to 10 iPads to be connected wirelessly to the same DL1608 mixer hardware. So that means that different members of the band can even mix their own monitor mixes all from their own iPad. So really great potential to uh, really revolutionize how you mix because you now have the mobility to move around to anywhere in the venue. Can you, can you lock out functions from certain iPads? If you've got 10 people, you don't want 10 people having control of the master Yeah, that, can you lock those out? Yeah, you're going to be able to lock out various functions in a software update so that you'll be able to say, only one aux end is accessible to the drummer and that's what he can control and the bass player has access to a different aux end that he's under control of. So let's, uh, let's give you a quick walkthrough of the user interface. I'll put this back down so you can uh, uh, see it better. Basically, the interface is really easy. If you've ever used an iPhone or iPad or touchscreen phone really of any kind, you're already going to be a pro at using our mixer. Simply swipe back and forth, and you see I have eight input channels that I can view. Uh, channel 1 through 8 now, swipe to the left, and I got channels one, uh, 9 through 16 here. Um, every input channel has the controls you'd expect. Solo, mute, sorry, I pressed the wrong button, upside down, mute, pan, and a fader. Now you'll notice as I adjust the faders, they change color and grow in size. This we call grow and glow. This gives you the positive feedback that the channel is under your control, so you're not going to make, make any mistakes and change a control you didn't intend to. Let's look at the right side. You'll notice when I swiped, that that master fader always stays where it is. So I always have complete control of my master fader. Right now I'm looking at the mix to the left right, but if I swipe up in this section, now my faders are controlling aux one, and I have the aux one master. So I have quick access to any aux end, and I can control it in the exact same way that I control all my other mixes. If I touch the EQ curve at the top of a channel here, you'll notice it glows green, and then when I release it, it takes me over to the other main view where I'm going to adjust my channel controls. I can tweak my EQ, pinch to adjust Q. I also have a set of sliders on the bottom if I want a little bit more fine grain control. And I can swipe up. Now I have access to my gate and compressor and access to my reverb and delay. Everything's touch and very intuitive to control. Everything you, as you'd expect. So all the benefits of a full color touchscreen, you know, all the studio guys have had fun with all their plugins and all the really detailed uh, user interfaces. And finally, we have that live with really intuitive and very detailed control of our touchscreen uh, user interface. I noticed a reverb in there. Yep. Can you update the plugins? Yeah, plugins is a, it, you, you ask about plugins and, and uh, the user interface isn't the only place we took the DAW paradigm. Every um, uh, processor, 
uh, has uh, multiple types. Right now, I just have a single type, but if I touch on this list, it's going to give me options for various different types that we'll be able to expand uh, down the line and provide those to the users via software update. Uh, so that's really the main user interface and the, and the, uh, and the uh, DL1608, the seamless wired to wireless control and the full power of a 16-channel digital live mixer and at, at an incredible price point. Uh, here in the States, we have a ma uh, manufacturer suggested retail price of $12.49, which those who are familiar with the market is substantially lower than some of the other 16-channel digital mixers on the market. We really wanted to bring the power of digital to all of our potential customers, and the Apple iPad as the main user interface has allowed us to do that. Limitations on range of this thing? It, the range limitation is just going to be a limitation of the wireless access point you choose. So uh, some wireless access points will be high powered and let you uh, go further. Um, but here in this room, I've been mixing from down the hall um, with full wireless uh, control and uh, haven't run into any range limitations. We've tested it in venues uh, up to 100 feet and it just kind of depends on the wireless access point you choose, but you have that control. Yeah, there's one other uh, feature that's included. We call this the padlock. Let me slide this back into its docked configuration. And if you just insert the padlock here, it snaps in place and uh, allows me with two security screws to tighten it down. And that will lock the iPad in its place. So if it's being used in an environment that uh, you want to secure the iPad, make sure it doesn't get stolen, you can do that. And then, of course, you can have a dedicated iPad for wireless use. So this is great for clubs or a church or something that, has, that wants to have one dedicated for the mixer. It's also great in the store because they can demo it within the store. Yeah, we're going to be available in the second quarter of this year. We're beginning production right now and ramping up that. And uh, we'll be hitting you in the second quarter of this year. Updates online available? Yeah, the update process is really simple. Everything goes through the, the iPad App Store. So you'll just simply get a notification, just like any other app, that the updates are available. Click the Update button. It'll download into the iPad, and you'll get a new version of software there. And uh, Mixer will be updated as well in that process. So just a single click through the App Store, easy update process. Are there different sort of modes available? Yeah, I mean, it's the, 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 the options are endless to how we could expand this system. It's all updated through the software screen, so we're not burdened with any physical controls that doesn't allow us to change the user interface. We definitely have lots of ideas for great updates that we have planned in the future. And uh, next year at NAO, I'm sure you'll see some of those even more.